Have you ever wanted to create your own anime and maybe you figured out ways to either draw or use AI to come up with some awesome characters, but you still have no way of animating them? Well, today we're going to be diving into Runway's Act 1, which promises to do exactly that, animate your characters or just about anything with a live performance. So that's why I got the webcam set up here because we're going to be using our webcam to drive an animation. I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Runway Act 1 is a new part of Runway Gen 3's AI video generator, and this feature comes in at just the right time because as dope as Gen 3's results look, previously we were not able to make our characters talk or have lip-synced videos to VO, and that's where Act 1 comes in. It should be able to take an image and a video and animate the image based on that video. Now, the ideal scenario is that you have yourself on a blank, solid color background, but you can actually use just about anything, whether that is your phone. One key thing to keep in mind is that we're going to have to keep our camera completely steady. So we got it hooked up here, locked down. It's not going anywhere. And we also want to make sure that our framing is nice and centered. So that way we have the head in the middle and it's going to be able to pick up things pretty much within this range of motion and any of the facial animations, but it's not going to be able to pick up things like my hands moving around and a lot of those other subtle details. So that is one huge caveat. So here it shows an example video for what is ideal. You also have the option to record right here in the browser or upload a video here using the select asset. At the bottom section here is where they have all of their pre-generated characters, which vary in multiple styles from looking photorealistic to looking like a Disney animated character. We can also click right here to upload our own image. So if you have a character already generated, you can upload that to the section here. For this example, I already generated a couple images that look like me if I was a character in an animated movie. If you guys are curious how to generate images that look like yourself, we covered it in an earlier video, so I won't go into too much detail here. But for the short version, we trained Alora on some of our photos and used an AI model called Flux to generate these pictures. So here, let's go ahead and import in our character and make sure that our webcam is set up and centered. If you have a picture that is beyond the dimensions, it's going to allow you to crop it before you get to animating. And one thing to keep in mind is that it won't pick up the body movements so much. So we can actually crop into a character if we wanted to just focus on the face using their built-in editor. So here I recorded a quick clip and I had to pause the recording because it wouldn't let me record both here and also on their app at the same time. But using this video clip and this generated character, we can go ahead and preview how long it's going to take. So it says that our video is 7.3 seconds long which is going to take 73 credits. To see this animation come to life, we can click Generate here, and after a few moments, we'll have a rendered video. So let's go ahead and take a look at this together. Ho, ho, ho. I'm off to vanquish another foe. Wow, I gotta say, this looks very impressive. So again, this was all generated using AI and using our video as a live performance. Now, some key details in this animation is that even though it has some of the shading and the shadows on the face, some of the movement is still unnatural. This may just be a caveat though of using this animated cartoon 2D style. So let's go ahead and try this out with something that is three dimensional instead of completely two dimensional. Here I have another picture that was generated and this one has me in a tuxedo in a winter wonderland, but rendered in a Disney Pixar animation style. And let's go ahead and see how well Runray was able to handle this footage. Ho ho ho, I'm off to vanquish another foe. Wow, I gotta say, this is looking very good and very impressive. I think it actually handles the 3D characters better than it did the 2D characters, which makes a little bit more sense because it has more of a reference to go off of. What's also really cool is that we do have subtle body movements in here, so even though they advertise not being able to pick up hand and body emotions, it will still animate your character very, very subtly based on the voiceover performance. Now for a final test, let's see how well this works with a real live action style photo. And for that scenario, I'm going to use one of their example photos here. So here we have it rendered out. Let's take a look at this video. Ho ho ho, I'm off to vanquish another foe. And wow, I gotta say, this handled it impressively well. This is probably the best example of them all. 
the scenario in which we're using a photorealistic image as its input image is where it really shines because it's able to handle all of the subtle facial movements, the wrinkles on the face, the eye movement, the head tracking, all of this is coming out very impressively. But I did give it a character that looked not exactly like me, but it is a black guy with a beard. So let's go ahead and try this with another character. So I'm gonna put in this input image, something that looks completely the opposite of me. This one is a white brown haired woman. So let's go ahead and try this one out. And the reason why we're trying this one out is because let's say you are a solo producer and you're making all of the scenes by yourself and you have multiple characters. You wanna be able to make sure that this tool not only works for characters that resemble you, but also for characters that do not look like you and that you have just come up with on your own. So let's go ahead and try this out here. Here we have the finished render. One thing you guys are gonna notice is that we're starting off with a completely front-facing photo, and yet we still have the character able to match our head movement. And yeah, this looks amazing. Ho, 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 I'm off to vanquish another foe. Another really awesome job with Runways Act 1. There are plenty of awesome shots that you'll be able to create. And even better is that you'll be able to use your own voiceovers and live performances to drive animations in your works. Now, there are still some huge limitations like not being able to move your characters, but there are other AI video tools that are coming out very soon, such as Cog Video X, and we were able to generate some amazing videos using it. At the moment, we're still developing a method for you guys to be able to use your voiceovers and animate your characters. So when that video comes out, make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one. All right, peace.